Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. I've got a really cool spider I want to show you. She's right inside of here, and guess what? We're going to get her out so you can see her closer. Take a look at this beauty. She's called the Black Widow. Now, of course, Black Widows, we un I understand, they have a bad rap. Now, Black Widows, they can be a dangerous spider, but let me get down to the facts for you. First of all, there's a report out there that their venom is 15 times more dangerous or venomous than a rattlesnake. I question whether that's true or not. Now, the truth is, if you get bit by a black widow, and that can happen here in Montana, they're here, we'll talk about that in a minute, but if you get bit by them, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna hurt, you're gonna get sore, your muscles are gonna be sore, it can affect your breathing, and if you're a little kid, or you're a really old adult, you gotta really worry, and yes, they can kill you, but a healthy, even a healthy older kid, a healthy adult, you get bit by this, the soreness is about all you're going to have to worry about. Now, of course, you get bit, go to the hospital, just get checked out to be certain. However, they're not quite as bad as people make them out to be. But you can tell it's a black widow, of course, by the hour glass red shape on the abdomen that you see there and of course this black one here this is the female the males they're going to be much smaller and they're going to be brown in color so when you see this big you know real classic big black spider with that red hourglass that's going to be the female now they're called black widows because they're not very nice to their boyfriends. I know, boyfriends gross, but it happens. And when you are a female black widow and you have a boyfriend, it's not uncommon for you to eat your boyfriend. Yeah, believe it or not, the girls sometimes eat the boys, and that's why they're called a black widow, because that's a name given to some ladies that aren't very nice to their boyfriends. And so that's where the name comes from. That said, they are found everywhere throughout the United States. Every state ex except Alaska has have black widow spiders. You got to be careful in garages and in sheds underneath rocks because that's where these guys like to live. They're going to eat things like moths and caterpillars, other insects as you can imagine, and they build pretty big webs, which is pretty neat. It's a really strong, sticky web as well, and of course that's how they catch their food. Now they're what we call comb-footed spiders, which means they've got these little things on the back of their legs that allow them to spin silk around their prey so they mummify their prey. And like the tarantulas that I've talked about before, these guys have those big fangs, they inject the venom, and it liquefies the inside of their prey. <coughs> <clears throat> and then they suck it up and eat it. I got choked up because it's so gross. Nonetheless, though, what a cool animal. And I tell you, even though we as humans don't like having them around, we're scared of them, they're really important like all spiders are. But keep an eye for them because, again, believe it or not, here in Montana, yeah, we do have the Black Widow Spider. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy with Morticia, my personal Black Widow.